So we're back working on our glorious free 99 carport. Yes. <laughs> the frame was free. Frame was free. We bought the tarp for a different in, uh, intended purpose in, intended for the, purpose. the RV. It was, yeah. a, it was a 30 by 40 from Harbor Freight. It was around 90 bucks. So that's the biggest part of our investment here. Plus some tape. Yeah. Yeah. I guess it's not totally free. We had it erected a few weeks ago, um, like 90% of it. And then we ran out of duct tape. So we had to come back and secure it in some spots that we wanted secured. I don't know about you guys, but do you ever buy something for a project, place it, put it down somewhere to be ready to use later. And then once you're ready to go do your project, you go to look for those materials you bought, you can't find them anywhere. And days go by, you keep looking, you keep peeking to see if you'll find it. Well, that happened to us with our freaking duct tape. Yep. Finally found it today, so now we're like, okay, let's get the carport done. So that's what we're doing right now. We're just trying to seize the moment and finish this because the rains and wind might come very soon. So we want to secure it a little more. And we looked up county code. They said you got to use a better duct tape. So we found a better duct tape. And uh, I was using 3M no residue duct tape, which is really nice. But Gorilla Tape is really strong. And they have this stuff that says extra thick, extra stick, and superior weather resistivity so i thought and those are some big words so i like that the color matches the tarp so it blends in you can't matches really better yeah and then um harbor freight best spot to get some tent stakes with a coupon i think these are like three bucks a pack if you go anywhere else you're spending like 10 to 20 dollars for a piece of metal with a sharp point on it so um yes i'm hoping i think this plastic will last it shouldn't sun crack because i've used these before they last a long time another good product for your harbor freight so we're going to finish tying and securing the bottoms and then stake the bottom. And then for some areas that are kind of weak on the, the tarp that you can kind of see through, we bought some one and only as seen on TV leak seal. Now I've been trying everything I can to just not use this stuff to make this guy richer, but I figured this was like the perfect opportunity because I don't want to put a bunch of duct tape on these, you know, kind of thinner spots. I'm just going to, have her drive the tractor, lift me over, and I'm gonna spray these thin spots. Because the goal here is just to keep sun and rain off the top of the tractor. The rain will uh, puddle down by these horizontal bars. So we are going to put little holes in the tarp closer to the horizontal bar. And then when the water wants to pool right here and weigh down, it'll actually just drip down. And we're okay if water just drips down the sides. We're, we're all right with this. This is not a, an elaborate mahogany piano or something. So we are just trying to keep the sun and water yeah. off the tractors. It's already doing the job. We're just making it a little, yeah, a little better. Yeah, we're already surprised. Preparing for the winter. Yeah. So let's get yeah, building. We'll, we'll show you how taping. we do our little tape, tape uh, straps. Yeah. centimeter apart All right, we got the supervisor nailing. 
Okay, all the stakes are in. Now we're making our rain gutters. Yeah. We're gonna, yeah. We're gonna get a piece of tape and tape right here. So then we could poke some holes for the water drainage. And I swear that's the last of the elaborate techniques we're using. <laughs> <laughs> the elaborate hobo carport. Yeah, hobo carport. Fixing holes and making holes. <laughs> That'll be good. Drain right there. You can do that all along. Now for the spray on top of the on top of the carport. I'm gonna have my lift man lift me. This tractor has a 104 inch vertical lift, which is very nice. Look at the homestead. Lunch. It's been a couple days later and I was hoping to catch some footage of our carport in the rain so you could see how it's uh, draining and working but instead I caught some good poison oak. As much as I try to stay away from it I ended up touching some branches that look like they're dead and sure enough it was poison oak. I swear I'd never catch this stuff again and now it's on my face but it's going away. I swear that stuff is evil man. Um, I'll show you later. We're gonna try to get some goats to get rid of that. But nonetheless, so we had some good rain uh, last night. And as you can see, the hole uh, underneath is pretty dry. And the little holes that we had seem to be working. Little puncture holes through the tape. Um, Cause the ground's a little wet right there and you could check the whole structure is leaning that way for good uh you know rain runoff and slopage uh but you see you know it's a little wet there so these holes must be working i see a little drip right there and then there's a little moisture right down the center and i'm i don't know if that's from condensation because i see a few drips down the center pole but only the center pole not the side ones um, and then as you can see here, that's the light part of the tarp and that's where we sprayed the stop leak. Um, stuff's on and it. it's not leaking. As you can see on the tractor, it's all dry. Over here, yeah, these tractors are dry. So, uh, looks like we had a little, yeah, it might have blown in over here. So, it's definitely holding up now. It's been a couple months and uh, the fact that we don't have a, a wall closing in this side, wind can go right through as you can see. The water doesn't puddle up in there. It either goes down the holes or the wind just kind of blows it off. So yeah, working, working pretty good. Like I said, if you can get us a year, that's great. Two, that's awesome. Three, I'm gonna patent it. That's all we have for you today, but thanks for watching. Uh, your viewership helps our channel support veterans, trails, and charities each quarter, so thank you for that. And feel free to check in on our Instagram page, Work and Dirt. And upcoming, we should have some more tractor videos and some Jeep videos, so stay tuned. We just got situated, so it's taking a little time getting everything organized. I still don't have an internet, so that's kind of a big deal. Uh, we'll have that set up here soon to get a lot more video footage out. All right, we'll see you at the next one. First run of the property. Forgot to set the stopwatch, but it was the easy ones. So we'll set it next time. How you feeling, Jeremy?